Hello and welcome to Beyond. This is me, Shubhain Chakravarti, and I am joined by one of the rising stars of Western Disc Cricket, Shemar Holder. Welcome, Shemar. How are you? Hi. Thanks for having me. I'm good. So, Shemar, a lot, a lot of things going around. You guys have a, had a big win in the first test, and now going into the second test with a one nil lead. So, how, how is the feeling in the camp? It's a very good feeling, you know. Uh, we worked very hard for it. We prepared when we came down for the two weeks, and we are looking forward to the other two test matches. Uh, so, Shemar, you are a youngster. Uh, youngster and pace bowling department has done so well in the first test. The likes of Shane and Gabriel, Jason Holder really stood out. So, what was it like to watch them, the experienced guy, go go about their business from the stands? How was it like? But watching it in person, you know, is very, it's very mind blowing. Um, exciting, I would say. Um, seeing the 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 struggles and the the things you guys have to go through. Um, when they come off uh, at break, seeing the effort that they're putting knowing uh, every time they bowl that they're giving their all to the team so it's good to see uh, so shamar uh, a lot of lot of praise coming towards jason holder he is now the, the number one ranked all rounder in test cricket and number two in the bowling list so how is it like to have a leader like jason in the team it's very good to have a, a person like jason in the team you know, knowing jason personally he's a very hard he's a hard worker um, he always, he always do everything he's supposed to. You know, he's always looking to to improve everything he play, play the game of cricket. So it's good to be around him. You know, anything I want to know, he will tell me. We sit down, we have discussions, and he will help me anything I need. So, so uh, Shamar, I'll come to your career so far. You have had a really impressive. A domestic season, uh, like you have played 17, ma 19 matches and picked up 76 wickets at an average of 24. So it's a really impressive number. So I would like to ask you, uh, a lot of youngsters are there who miss out on the traditional way of bowling in the longer run because they focus on variety of tricks in today's T20 world. So what about your bowling? How do you go about your business and what is your main focus in your bowling? Um, well, I, I had tweeted a few things coming up. Um, I go about in terms of training, just, you know, get a, make, making sure my rhythm is right, uh, my wrist position, you know, work on one thing in the nets, and then they move on each and every training session. Um, also, I, I, I recite something in my head, just telling myself to stay patient in the longer format, which is the test cricket format, just to stay patient, you know, and, and don't get too excited or don't try too much when I'm born. Great, great, great. So, uh, Shamar, I believe you have a family background in cricket. So, can you tell us something more about it and what would it be like for them, your family, if you go on to make your debut in this series? Well, I have, a, I would say, a, a, I could call it a management a management team, which is which is my family, you know, my uncles, you know, they they back me from the time I was thirteen playing youth cricket coming up. Also, my mom and my dad, you know, my entire family, they're they're backing me right now, and I know they're happy because when I got the call and I I told them they were very happy, you know, and we sit and we discuss um, a few things uh, about going on the tour, and also, you know, if I get a chance to make my debut. I know all of them will be watching and will be smiling. Yeah, terrific, terrific. So, uh, Shamar, outside your family, who has been your idol while growing up? Because West Indies cricket have produced so many legends in fast bowling. So, who would you pick as your idol? I would say it's Kurtley Ambrose. Okay. Uh, and and is your nickname Ambi derived from there by any means? Um, a few a good a few of the guys call me Ambi. <laughs> So it is. It is due to because of your love for Curtly Ambrose. And also, I had my hair plait, and a few of the, a few of them say that I look like him. Even my bowling action. Mm -hmm. uh, coming, uh, you mentioned your bowling action. Coming to that, you have had a lot of comparison with uh, Jofra Archer, another Barbados-born player who is on the other side of uh, the team right now. He's playing for England. So, uh, at such a young age, what? how do you take the comparisons? 
is it something that goes into your head or do you just say okay let let's leave it like that no not at all and everybody's different so i'm focusing on what i have to do and i'm sure he's focusing on what he have to do also shamar i have another question for you which is very crucial in terms of uh, how cricket is being played right now you have been practicing with the team so is there any difference without uh, bowling uh, bowling while bowling without saliva have you felt any well, yeah. yes it's a big difference because um there there will be a few spots that the ball will get that you you cannot put saliva on mm-hmm. that will get out you know get out the spots to help the ball stay nice and shiny on one side but at this moment everything is going well in terms of just rubbing it into the pants or using the the sweat if if we get any sweat at all bowling because England sometimes is cold but it's working like going in next week I've worked on it um shiny the ball with folks so like and it is going it's going very good so far so Shane and last two questions number one you have been sharing the dressing room now with the experienced players like Shane and Gabriel Kemar Roach or even for that matter Jason Holder so have you been picking their brains in terms of taking the experience from them yes every moment i, I get you know that i could sit down and have some time someone on one with them i ask a few questions or or they they even come to me and we we talk about cricket stuff or anything else so terrific so uh, shema last last question what would be your message for the fans who are not being able to Uh, be in the stadium because when we watch west indies cricket playing especially in test cricket there's certain sort of atmosphere a buzz going in the stadium but now it is all empty so what would be your message for the fans i would tell them to just keep watching you know um, we know that that they're watching all over the world you know tune in on on tv even though they're not present and also just you know remain safe remain um focus and follow the protocols and soon for now they'll be able to come back and watch a game of cricket live great 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 uh, thanks a lot shema for your time and we are we all are looking forward to watching you play for west indies in future and take lots of wickets thanks a lot and good luck for the rest of the series yes thank you and thanks for having me again thanks thanks a lot thanks a lot